Hello everyone, Wade from High Tech Legion here, and I'm going to be giving you an overview and showing you a game from Unigen called Oil Rush, running on an Android device. Um, they designed this so that it runs on the Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 based devices, and let's take a look at the game. So here we have the Oil Rush Naval Strategy game from Unigen running on the Samsung Galaxy S3. You can see on the main menu here we have three options. We have the campaign or the story mode. We have quick game and we also have options. Under quick game you can start a game from any of the maps that are included in the game. Uh, each one has a number next to it which shows how many players and if you pick a map and hit next you can put your name in um, and change the colors that people are getting as well as change the difficulty of the AI players and set the, the team so if you wanted to have an AI player on your team for example or if you wanted to have the AI work together against you you could set a team and then also you have your start button down here to actually start the game we'll go back and under options we have the adjustments for the music volume sound volume as well as a subtitle on or off button that allows you to um, turn the subtitles on for the cutscenes that are included in the campaign mode credits is will show the credits for all the uh, people who worked on this game <clears throat> under campaign mode you've actually got new and load so if you do new you're gonna start a new campaign obviously and if you do load then you can open up save games <clears throat> and we've actually got four chapters here with so quite a few levels to play through this first one, First Blood here, um, is the first level of the campaign mode, and I highly suggest that you play through that because it gives you a tutorial of the controls for the game. To show you how the game works, though, I'm just going to start a quick game here and show you that. I'm going to put the AI to hard. And I'm going to put them on the same team and hit start. So while this loads, I'll give you a little bit of information. It is a tower defense style game using oil platforms and also what I would consider RTS functionality because it's real time and you have to move units, though there isn't very much micromanagement. I'm going to turn the volume down a little bit so you can hear me a little bit better. But So here you've got your platform. You can double click on it to build turrets. Of course, everything in this game requires oil. So you have your oil here and your population here and information, your journal, your mission. That's mainly for the campaign mode pinch zoom for the typical um, gestures to move the camera around you can just drag to move the camera around as well if you twist it'll actually twist the camera and then in camera mode here it'll actually focus on a unit and you can click the arrow to move on to a different unit or turret or whatever it is that you're focused on. The target mode will just show the main whatever you're selected on. Um, so if you click on the mini map you can click on anything here. You can send units from the mini map to attack. So if you click and drag to another platform you can send the units to attack not very easy from the minimap because it's so small but then the main map here you can pick and 
it shows the units that we have. We've got 12 people with jet skis and these 100%, 50%, 25% allows you to pick how many you want to send. If you had multiple types of units here, you could actually untoggle uh, one of the types of units if you only wanted to send a particular type. So I'm going to send 100% of the units here to one of these oil platforms because you need oil for this game to work for you to be able to progress. And under this here, we've got a technology tree. And there's actually three sections of that technology tree that you'll be able to build on based on how many platforms you capture and how many kills you get. So let's focus on this oil platform. I'm going to put it in camera mode so you can see the battle happening and the 3D graphics that this game provides. Pretty good for an Android uh, phone, really, when you think about it. So here we've got hard AI, obviously, and uh, they're beating the crud out of my uh, jet ski guys. So it looks like we are going to successfully capture the oil platform here. Excellent. <clears throat> so, you'll see that we've got the guys here that there's seven of them left. And over at this platform, they've actually started to respawn. So that allows you to not have to worry about the micromanagement of units and things like that. Um, and these little up arrows actually allow you to upgrade your turrets defense so that they uh, are more powerful because they're pretty easily destroyed. We killed some units so we can go into the technology tree here now. We've got four available points and you would just click it and hit research and it immediately becomes active. So, once you have a couple things, you can see that the power-ups are over here on the, the right corner, and they actually cost oil to use. So, you've got the flag and the quick build here that cause, uh, cost 40 and 50 oil to use. How you would use it, you would just drag them onto a platform and... Uh, then it activates it for a short period of time and you have to wait for the cooldown to, for, to be able to use it again so that it's not overpowered. You've also got your menu here where you can resume, restart the level, save the game, load the game, and get into your options as well. So I'm going to go back to the main menu. A lot of different unit types. You've got helicopters and planes, jet skis, all kinds of different types of boats that you can uh, use. And as you progress through the game, you'll get more and more of those in the campaign mode. The storyline is pretty good on this game. And, um, you know, you'll really move through the technology tree as well as get to play with all the different units playing the campaign. So I would suggest really playing through the entire campaign before you go jumping into quick game mode. Um, unless you <laughs> you already know the controls and you just want to play a quick 15-20 minute game. Because um, sometimes the campaign levels can take 45 minutes, an hour to really complete. This has been an overview of the Unigen Oil Rush game for Android. I hope you enjoyed the video and taking a look at this this new game that Unigen will be releasing for Android and uh, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook and Twitter and check out the full review at www.hightechlegion.com as well as other reviews there. Take care.